Hey everyone, welcome back to Hippie Warrior and welcome to day 30 of our 30 day 5 minute challenge. For today's hippie session, we are going to be doing a yoga mobility flow thing that I put together. This is actually very similar to what I like to do in the morning, just kind of wake my body up. All right, you are gonna, we are gonna be on the floor the whole time, so why don't you go ahead and find yourself a nice comfortable seat. And we'll start off with our 30 seconds of centering breath, and then we'll get into it. Go ahead and start breathing. Listen to the sounds around you. Start to tune in to what's going on right now for you. Not what you were doing, but what you have to do. Let those go. Cool. We'll start off in our 90-90 position. So that's one foot or one leg bent at 90 degrees, the other one at the 90 degrees behind you. And we're just going to oscillate between leaning forward at that other leg and then opening up for this leg. As you can see, we're pretty much just going to be moving the whole time in a bunch of different positions. It's just a nice way to kind of get into the body. Oh, if you find a spot you want to hang out in, hang out there. And switch. Just switching sides. Again, we're just kind of moving in and out. I like to use this in the morning to kind of just feel like what's feeling extra tight, what's extra sore, what's feeling good. And kind of check in with the whole body. Again, if you find a spot that's particularly tight, breathe into it. Next, swing your legs out in front of you. We're going to open up the shoulders, place your hands behind you, palms down, fingers pointed back, slight bend in the arms, and just try to make that chest nice and proud. Whoa. You can move side to side. You can come in and out. Just make sure you're not overextending those elbows by locking them out. And don't let the shoulders dump in. We want those back. Good. Moving on, we're going to like a child's pose. So you're gonna kick your hips up, kick them back. You can have toes tucked or pointed. Your nice little sways. Release that lower back. Press into your hands if you want greater stretch in your armpits and for your shoulders. We don't want to kill it, but we just want to activate that area. Ooh, draw those back. Good. Moving forward, we're going to step one foot forward and do a lunge, and then we're going to kick back, finishing up those legs. If it feels good, you can come up, get a nice good stretch in the front of this leg, back, just like our lunging series. If you want to go real yogi, you can switch your legs and then sync up with breath. So I like inhale forward, exhale surrender. Inhale forward, exhale surrender. You can also hang out like that tail good <laughs> next we're coming down to our bellies first one you're gonna float up like you're doing superman you're gonna take your palms you're gonna flip them up and you're gonna swing them so they land behind your low back if that's too hard you can just do here and open them up and then swing them back to here. Otherwise, if you are going to the low back, open them out and switch which hand goes on top. All while trying to keep your shoulders lifted. That's the main point. Should have said that first, but that's what we're doing. Good. Last position, bring your arms, elbows in along the body, place the hands down. From the hands, don't think shoulders down, think elbows down. And then if your elbows are touching the floor or grass, then think about your shoulders coming down. You can even do a little bit of lifting. We don't want those shoulders dipping, like rolling over to get down and popping those elbows up. We want to keep those elbows up and just 
feel that. If that's too hard, you can be out here. You can switch side to side. And lastly, flip over for Shavasana. We are at the end. Hands can go on the belly, out in corpse pose. Couple breaths. Or you can block the sun like me. Place your hands on your foreheads. One last breath. And exhale, let it go. Awesome. So there's my super quick morning routine. If I got only five minutes, that's a great way for me to just hit the whole body and feel better for the rest of the day. Congrats on making it to the day 30 of our 30 day five minute challenge. If you haven't done the challenge, go back. If you're ever looking for a five minute workout or recovery, check out our sessions. Just trying to give you some fun stuff to do. All right. Love y'all.